All right, what up everybody? It's your boy Akeem. Welcome to today's last scouting report. I'm here to give you a report on another running back out of Michigan State and Jeremy Langford coming off of a great scouting combine workout due to an outstanding 40 time, the best 40 time among all the running backs. And I'll talk about that in just a couple of seconds. Let's talk a little bit about him. Hailing from Westland, Michigan, had over 1,900 yards as a senior in high school before signing his letter of intent for the Spartans. Spartans. He actually started his career for Michigan State at wide receiver and cornerback before converting to the running back position, backing up Le'Veon Bell as a sophomore and then got the starting nod as a junior and a senior. Now for his junior season, he rushed for over 1,400 yards, 4.9 yards per carry while help leading the team to a Big Ten championship and a Rose Bowl championship over the Stanford Cardinals. And as his senior season, his number actually went up. His numbers actually went up a couple of notches, over 1,500 yards rushing, 5.5 yards per carry. Now there is a couple of concerns I'd like to talk about, but let's talk about his strengths. First, his strengths. He does a good job with his lateral quickness, moving north and south, and even bouncing into the outside, cutting around the corners. Also, I do like his size at six foot, 208 pounds. That is a decent size that you want at the running back position. Good bulk, and I've been noticing a little bit of a trend at running back. They have actually have good bulk. A friend of mine, Mr. Sam Cherry, I have to give him a shout out, actually pointed that out to me, and I have been noticing a little bit of a trend, despite the fact that the 40 times at running back at the scout combine wasn't too well, except for Jeremy Lankford, who ran a 4-4-3 40, the best among all the running backs, and that's why his stock has been rising entering this year's NFL draft. Now let's talk about his weaknesses. Also, one last strength I'd like to point out, he does do a pretty good job on, on covering the blitzes and pass protections, which is a plus that you want your running back to be used in the National Football League. Now, let's talk about his weaknesses. I mentioned before that he likes to bounce more to the outside and cut around the corners, and that is not going to make it well in the National Football League. He needs to do a better job running in between the, the tackles and trusting more of his blockers. Also, despite that he had a great 40 time he doesn't really have that great initial burst that you want your running back to have in order to cut in, inside of the holes that is a little bit of a concern for me now lastly he wasn't used to what much as a receiver this past season only 62 yards receiving on 11 receptions compared to 28 receptions in 2013 with 157 yards receiving in that season. That is a little bit of a concern that he wasn't used more of receiver as a senior this season. A little bit of a disappointment in that. So that's why I kind of kind of a little bit scared of his, um, draft, his draft status, his projection for this season. Now, despite the fact that he had a 4-4-3-40, I still have him as my number four running back. Um, entering this year's draft, possibly number three ahead of Nebraska's Amir Abdella, but Abdella had a better career over the past two seasons, and at 4'6", 140, he does run a little bit faster than that. That's just my personal opinion. But I still think Jeremy Langford is a good back, and he doesn't really have the initial burst that you want your running back to have. So I have him as my number four running back thus far. I still might change my mind depending on his pro day workout, and I even have him as a third round or fourth round selection of this year's draft because of the running back position. There's way too many talented running backs already in the National Football League. It's hard for most teams to really depend on a running back in the early two rounds of this year's draft. So I have him as a third round, at worst, fourth round of this year's draft. Now, the next time I'm actually going to catch you guys will be on Thursday with more scout reports. Thank you for watching today's blogs. I'm your man, Keen McCall. Be easy.